getting prepared for your business, you know, doing what you got to do to put that business plan together. So many people hate business planning because it's like, ah, where do I start? Uh, what do I need to consider? How does this even work? How do I word it? Like it can be very challenging, very, very challenging. So my goal today is that if you are currently working on a business plan, it's my goal to help you uh, understand how to maneuver that situation or navigate that process. Hey, good morning, Vicki. Thanks for joining me. So um, many of you probably have not heard of the term names. Um, it is actually a framework that I have coined that helps people understand how to navigate the process of um, building your business plan for a CNA school. So um, I'll be more than happy to explain to you what the acronym NAMES means. Um, but in short, it means the following. Naming your business for the M. Address, obtaining some type of an address for your business. Uh, money to start up because we know that that's important. You got to have money to get your business going. So we'll talk about that. Um, e for employer identification number and then S for uh, the Secretary of State. So names, that's the framework. So I'm going to break down each one of these frameworks to help you better understand what it is that I mean, the things you need to do, the steps you need to take. So if you have joined me, please get your pen. Let's get to it. <clears throat> Number one is name. So when you are picking a name for your business, it's really, really important that you have like your core values in mind, that you have your futuristic goals already planned and thought about. So when I say, when I say that, hey, good morning, good morning, Angela, good morning, Perletta, thanks for joining me, Therese. Um, what do I mean in terms of your futuristic goals? For instance, if you are starting a CNA school, do you see yourself adding on additional schools or are you going to be everything CNA school? If you're going to be everything CNA school, then go and run with the name, you know, ABC, the best CNA school or whatever like that. But if you identify that you are probably going to be dipping into additional um, endeavors, then you don't want to just have that name CNA school. You want to have an umbrella term. So um, I've heard many people utilize maybe their child's name one who's passed away um, that's fine nothing wrong with that I love that some people again remember I said think about your core values so some people may utilize their core values or their mission to name their business all right so um, there was one what was it um, I mean I've heard oh faith training center you know uh, we know where that stems from right um, they're just different names so think about what it is that you want I think I've heard of one quality training center um, but anyway, whatever name you choose before you run with it, okay, please go to the Secretary of State and check to see if that business name already exists. Google that business name to see if it already exists. And finally, um, which many of you will learn from Dana, this full-fledged process of going to the Trademark Commission and finding out whether or not that name has already been trademarked. Um, because if you utilize a company name that's already been trademarked, you could potentially uh, receive a letter for a cease and this, uh, what do they call it? Cease uh, letter because you're utilizing a trademark name. So you're not allowed to do that. So if you don't stop your business or stop utilizing that name, they can sue you for that. So that's huge. Uh, we don't want to be in that situation. So for those of you who are coming to uh, the Secret Cocktail Mastermind Retreat, that is one of the topics that Dana. Thomas, the attorney who will be coming and speaking, she'll be speaking on that and like walking you guys through that and what that looks like and how to do that. Um, but anyway, so the name is very, very important. Very, very important. Um, don't take it lightly. Definitely give it some thought. So that's the N in names. All right. Names. The next one. The next one I said is A for address. Now, the address is really, really important initially because in order for you to even file with the Secretary of State, you've got to have an address. Um, how many of you, by raise of uh, hands or if you want to say yes, me, how many of you have already went on ahead and registered your business with the Secretary of State? How many of you have already done that? If you've already done that, you already know that you have to have an address in order to do so. 
I always caution you, please, 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 I caution you, do not use your personal address for this, okay? Don't. I, I, you don't have a facility yet, you're still working on it, um, that's fine, but you don't want to use your personal address on your business documents because um, when you do that, okay, I don't know if you guys know or not, but when you go to the Secretary of State, anything on the Secretary of State is, is like everyone's business. All they got to do is go and type in your business name and they will find everything they want to find out about your business, including the address. So if you have a personal address on file, like they, they know where you live. And um, not only that, but the people, they start sending you mail. I'm telling you, as soon as you register your business, you get all of this mail selling you things. You get all these phone calls. So be very conscious of the phone number you place on there. Um, you get all types of things. So you definitely want to make sure that you choose an address that um, is not a personal one. If you have a pl already have a place of business that you're utilizing for something else, use that for now. If, um, you know, there are address services out there, um, we talked about this, they're like a virtual mailbox, but it's really a PO box, but it looks like an actual address. And I, I think I always say it's uh, UPS, or, but it's actually FedEx um, that offers this service. And it looks like a legit real deal address, you know, with a suite number and everything like that. And it, it will, it should pass the test. So in most situations, you should be able to utilize that for your business address. But please, please, please do not use your personal address, all right? So that's the A in names. M is the one everybody inboxes me about all the time, and that's money. Start up money. How much money does it cost to start a CNA school? I get that email all the time. And I am so sorry to tell you, I do not have the answer because your startup fees are gonna be different from the next person's startup fees. However, your startup fees will, um, they're still potentially the same things you need to consider for your startup fees. So um, I'm actually getting ready to put a link in the chat right now because I have a webinar on CNA school startup costs that you can attend. So um, if you haven't already done that, if you haven't already been to that webinar, if you haven't already determined how much is it going to cost me to start up this CNA school, because I'm going to tell you right now, so many people get into like doing the paperwork and, and um, renting the space, and they don't even know how much it's going to cost to do all of this. So don't, don't do that, okay? Please make sure that you understand all of the financial risks associated with starting your CNA school before you move into um, all that. Please know how much, okay? How much is it gonna cost you? So I just went on ahead and put a link um, in the chat right now. And that link is for my webinar that goes into, and that, I mean, that's like a whole nother 30 minute conversation. So I can't really get into that this morning, but if you're interested in learning more about all the startup costs or the money that it would take, utilize that link, okay? Now, um, in terms of how to get that money, um, that's another question I get. And for many people, many people bootstrap, okay? Bootstrap meaning you just save up your own money and you invest it into your business. A lot of people do that. Um, I don't like to take out loans, but taking out a loan could be an option for you. I mean, you took out a loan to go to school to get an education, so why not take, and that was investing in yourself, so why not take out a loan to invest in a business to start it, right? Only makes sense. So, you know, if you're willing, it only makes sense if you're willing to do that. Like for me, I, I paid for all of my education out of pocket. <laughs> I was on the grind. Either I paid for it out of pocket or I found an employer that would pay for it. And I think I graduated with three degrees, y'all, plus my CNA um, with only like $5,000 debt. I mean, I was not playing any games. I was not trying to, oh, I don't even want to over this house. I can't wait to get this house paid off. Like, I don't like borrowing money. But I do recognize that sometimes it's necessary, okay? When I had my daughter, um, I wrecked my car and I totaled it. I didn't have thirty, forty thousand dollars 40000 to just go buy a car, so I had to borrow. So sometimes we do have to borrow money. And if it's something that we really believe in, then borrow the money and get the school started. Like, do it. You, you would pull money out for anything else that is depreciating in value. Cars are depreciating value. Your business is something that the more you put into it, the more it's going to grow and give you back money. That's something to invest in. So um, potentially a loan could be an option, okay? And then um, 
other ways, I mean, there are angel investors out there, people who believe in your dreams and are willing to donate money to the cause. Well, not necessarily donate. They usually want something back in return, but um, maybe some like a certain percentage of your business or a certain percentage back. So um, how do you find angel investors? LinkedIn, uh, small business association events you know, networking, just get to networking, get to finding people, telling them your dreams, letting them see your business plan and your goals. Nobody is going to donate money to a cause and you don't even have a plan. I'm going to tell you that right now. Nobody's doing it because I mean, unless they like to play Russian roulette, most people who are giving their money to a cause want a return and know that they're going to get a return investment. And if you're starting a CNA school, I'm telling you right now, if you do it right, it's a guaranteed return investment. It's just a matter of doing it right and having a plan. Hey, Linda, thanks for joining me. Good morning, guys. Um, so right now we are talking about um, business startup framework. I'm utilizing the acronym NAMES. We've already did naming your business, and I've talked about that. We've already done the address for the A. We just got through with money for uh, money to start that up. Next is the EIN, employer identification number. Now, this is really important. It's like the social security number for your business, right? Um, you can get one literally, I wanna say like seven days a week, um, maybe not Sunday, but um, there's a website where you can go and get your, your EIN. It's free. Do not, I repeat, do not pay to get an EIN because there are services out there that are paying, or people are paying to get EIN when EIN is free. Do not pay. It's not that hard to get one. I'm getting ready to put in the chat box right now the link for an EIN number, um, the free one and the real one from the federal government. There are many services that will do one for you, and that's why they're charging you, but you don't need to do that. Just use this link I'm getting ready to put in, um, in the box right now. Okay, here it is. Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can submit for an EIN, and you will get it immediately you will get it immediately okay as soon as you get done and you click submit you'll get your EIN however you want to already have an address on file you want to already have your business name done which is why those things we've already talked about first we already talked about a business name and an address you want to have those things first because nothing's worse than I uh, making up a business name and getting EIN and then you never can even get that business like that business name already exists somewhere else now your EIN is not even functional it's not connected to anything so it's important to get and people do these out of order all the time get your business name register it get your address and then go and get your EIN okay that is important so let me put the link for EIN in the chat box now there we go uh, hey Sabitra thanks for joining um, more about the employee identification number. So you're going to be utilizing this number when you move on to build business credit. Business credit is huge and I'm actually really trying to get somebody. I don't even know where I'm going to squeeze them in during this three day event, but I'm trying to find somebody that is a specialist um, on business credit that I can bring in to talk to you guys at the mastermind retreat, because I think that that is so important and many businesses, including myself, um, you know, we, we don't know. Um, I didn't know for a long time or understand how to navigate business credit. Hell, I just learned not too long ago how to navigate my personal credit. <laughs> so um, understanding how to navigate the business credit is a whole separate entity and it's completely different, but it's very important to understand and it will take your business far and long, um, but you have to have the EIN to do that, okay? So EIN is important. <laughs> And then now we have the S in names, business of your name, um, name of your business, address, money to start up, employee identification number, and um, secretary of state. Okay, so when you um, when you file your business with the secretary of state, um, usually there is a fee associated with it. It's usually not a lot of money, maybe thirty, maybe a hundred. It depends on your state. But people are confused about what that is and what that means. That basically means that you are um, following your business with the Secretary of State is basically saying that you are a business. Okay, you're filing your articles of incorporation, whether it be LLC, sole proprietor, 
um, you name it, whatever you choose. And, I, and if you are confused about that and which one you should choose or what to do, you have two options. You can um, hire an attorney or talk to a CPA about helping you understand how to navigate that and what to choose. If you want to educate yourself through videos and things like that. I do have a YouTube video that speaks to this topic exclusively um, on my YouTube channel, The Secret Cocktail. So um, you can feel free to go to YouTube, Google The Secret Cocktail and check that out. Um, but what I will say is that, you know, it, it, it's important to understand what business to choose because um, it's the whole structure of your business. And if anything were to happen to your business, like from a legal standpoint, um, it's important to make sure that all your ducks are in a row when it comes to that, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, I talk to people all the time and they're like, oh, I already have um, maybe like a home healthcare agency or I already have um, just whatever other type of business, right? And they're like, I just wanna add the CNA program on and I'm gonna put it all underneath the same umbrella and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best thing to do. Again, I'm no attorney, I'm not, you know, it just depends on the structure. But one thing to think about is that if something were to happen from a malpractice standpoint with your CNA school and you have an LLC and all of your businesses are under that LLC, one, to, one thing to think about is that that malpractice issue that happened to your CNA school, if you are sued for it, every business under that LLC is now up for grabs, right? It's not protected because they're together. Um, each one's not separately protected. So that is something to really, really, really think about. And that's just one example of what to think about. Recently, um, I brought on a CPA to help me with my books and um, he helped open my eyes that I probably don't need to be an LLC anymore. I might need to consider moving to um, an S Corp or something like that. And again, that has to do with the amount of money you're bringing in. So, um, and constantly reassessing your business and, and seeing where you are because uh, where you are or what you were doing last year may be different from this year and you may need to augment things and change things in accordance to what your new structure or what your new plan or what your new goal is, okay? So, um, constantly having people on your team that you can consult that are experts in their field um, and that you can reach out to and say, hey, I'm doing this and I'm doing this. What do you think about it? Is there something I should be considering about it? It's really, really, really important. So um, please, by all means, make sure that you have an attorney um, that you can reach out to. Make sure that you have an accountant or a CPA that you can reach out to. Make sure that you have your pusher like me that you can re reach out to. That's an expert in terms of your school. Um, we do sh business strategy sessions as well. So, you know, if you're already in business and you got your CNA school up and going, but the functionality, something isn't maneuvering right. You know, you're not bringing in the money you thought you wanted to, or, um, you know, maybe something is going on in terms of um, not getting enough, I don't know, maybe you're not getting enough emails from your lead magnets, whatever it is going on. And you're like, Victoria, I need help. We provide strategy consults. Um, to help you maneuver through that and figure out how to be better in that because we all sometimes we need a clean eye to come into our business to see what it is that we're doing and help us look at it in a new light. Uh, Savitra says my attorney advised against that. You're correct. Yeah, about the um, putting all your businesses underneath one and LLC. Yeah, you don't want to do so many people want to do that. Again, I can't tell you what to do or what not to do. What I would say is Think about it and consult an attorney because your situation may be different than mine and, you know, different from Savitra's. Everyone has a different situation and a different deck of cards to think about um, and play. So always consult somebody. And I'm telling you, like, yeah, it's going to cost money. It might cost you about two to five hundred dollars to consult an attorney. But I'm telling you, it's worth it because when if and when you get hit with a million dollar lawsuit and now you don't lost everything all because you didn't want to pay five hundred dollars. You, you start to really look at yourself a little differently. Like, wow, I was being cheap for no reason. Like, I really should have had that discussion, okay? Um, it's so important. Please stop being cheap on the things that matter. There's a lot of things in business that matter. Stop being cheap with them. Stop. It's not good. Um, any questions? Any questions about Wednesday's Wisdom, about business startup, about how to get your business up and going? Any questions for me? 
Um, I do have an online business plan course that is specific to CNA school as well as, um, you know, like nurse aid training, any type of healthcare training school. I do have a business plan course that I have. Um, I highly recommend it clearly. Um, I consulted a, a business a specialist to come in and help me develop this course. This course is a 10 module course. I just put the link in the chat for you guys to click and learn a little more about it. But it's a 10 module course. It is self-paced. You work at it on your own, in your own time. If you ever come across, across a question or something you don't understand, you book, you are free to book a free call with me for me to help you work through that. Um, so that is a huge, huge um, add uh, bonus to the business plan course, if I, if I do say so myself. But to be honest, everyone who's went through that course, and I've had over 50 people already go through that course, um, I probably have only had maybe three phone calls booked with me. That's how concise the course is. The course is very concise. It is very to the point. Um, it provides templates to help you work through like your profit and loss. Um, it, it provides template for your mission, how to develop your mission plan. Uh, Shanika, who is the attorney, I'm sorry, Shanika, who is the business plan consultant that I brought in, um, she and I go through and explain each section of the business plan um, thoroughly for you, very thoroughly. And by the time you're done, you will have about a 30 page business plan document that is so solid, you can utilize it to take to the bank to ask for a loan. You could use it to, to show an investor to ask for funds. Um, and that's huge. Business plan, how many of you already have worked on a business plan or who have hired someone to do your business plan? Hiring someone to do your business plan, anywhere from 500 to thousand dollars, and that's kind of on the low side. There's a lot of research involved with preparing a business plan. So much, so much. Um, and it's an ongoing assessment too. Like once you put your business plan together, you're reassessing it every six months, every three months, every year, however you plan to do it, but it's a constant reassessment. Um, I caution those, like I've heard people say, well, so-and-so got her business and she said she didn't have a business plan or her business is doing good and maybe I don't need a business plan. I'm gonna tell you right now, would you go to work and start caring for patients before looking in their chart? Would you? If you did, you're a very dangerous nurse, very dangerous, and I wouldn't want you taking care of me. If you came to work and you just started getting meds, going to your patient's rooms, giving them medications, you never looked to see uh, what the updated care plan was for them. You never looked to see who the physician was. So when you gave them that medication and they start circling the drain, you don't even know who to call, right? Because you never looked in the chart to find that out. You never look to see that that medication was actually discontinued. They shouldn't have got it anyway. Like there's so many things that you as a nurse look at in your, um, in your patient's charts that you are planning for your day, that you're utilizing the plan for your day, right? It's the same thing with your business. The same thing. You should not go into your business spending money on this, doing that, going over here, um, deciding to make this choice and not doing the research first not understanding, well, what all business softwares am I going to need in this business and how much do each one of them cost and which one's the best one for me to use, right? You should be doing that. You should be saying, okay, what side of town is going to be the best place for me to put my CNA school? What does the population look like there? Is it um, individuals who need entry-level education or is it an area heavily populated with master's prepared individuals? Because if it is, I don't need to put my school there. Right? You need to really look at the big picture, do your research, and make decisions in your business before you even start it based on your research, based on what you've looked up and what you now know. It's the same thing. So I'll, I tell you guys, you nurses are so powerful. You have knowledge that we use every day in work that can just transition and transfer over into business and we don't even realize it. And the planning and implementation uh, f for your patients, it's the same thing in business. It's the same concept. It's just that you have to educate yourself a little more on certain topics because you didn't study for two or four years about it first, okay? So think about that. 
think about that before you make decisions. All right, any questions for me? Because y'all know I can go on and on and on about this all day long. Um, this is very important to me. Uh, business planning is very important to me. And if you want to work with me, I want to know that you are business planning. You don't have to take my business plan course. You don't. Of course, I think it's the bomb and I think you should. But you don't have to. As long as you're business planning, you can Google a business plan template. Okay? I don't care. Get a business plan and holler at me. And we can get you moving forward with getting your CNA school started. Whether it's through mentorship, whether it's through consult calls, where you just book a session with me here and there to ask me questions as you navigate the process. Whether you come to my seminar when I'm in your state. Whether you just ask me to do it all for you. I don't care. Regardless, you need to have a business plan. Okay? So, thank you guys so much for joining me. I don't see any questions here. Remember that I will be here every every Wednesday 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for Wednesday's wisdom I will be educating you on topics if you have missed the past few Wednesday wisdoms just go to uh, my videos and just watch them you know you know you can go to videos versus my pictures on my page and you can just go through my videos and watch them I highly suggest you do that because there's so much free great information so much value that I'm providing take it all in okay it's there for that if you want to um, know when I'm getting ready to go live you know you can click to be notified so if you're on your phone usually it pops up at the bottom and says do you want to be notified when the secret cocktail is going live click yes okay I don't want you to miss out on this information uh, I am so sorry if you just made it you missed a lot please catch the replay press the share button because somebody needs this Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a good day.